Hello my loves, I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be embarking on a vintage sewing adventure where I will be recreating a 1950s style felt skirt with a spiderweb cording pattern. Now spiderweb prints have been around for a while and anyone who is a fan of vintage fashion might recognize some of these gorgeous garments all featuring spider webs and spider prints. They are super cute, but my favorite one is this one. I have wanted to make this skirt for a while. I don't want to make it exact. I kind of want to put my own little spin and interpretation on it. So that is what we will be doing today. Now my felt skirt will be a plain circle skirt and there are quite a few tutorials already out there. The main one I use is this video by Gertie, which I will link. Definitely in the description box and everything. That is the main one I use. But a circle skirt is super easy to make. Now, Gertie herself actually has a spiderweb pattern tutorial that she makes into a dress. I have taken elements from that, but I've also figured out my own way of using cording. So I will have all those details in my blog in case you want to get any specific details. All right, so let's get started. To make this skirt, I have started with about two meters of this pink felt that I got from Spotlight. And then I have this cording. Now here I will be showing you some elasticated cording. But a couple of minutes into sewing it, I realized that I made a grievous error. But we will cross that bridge when we get there. I also have this spider applique, which I thought was really cute, so we'll see how we go. To start, I folded my fabric into quarters, and I used this stencil from The Little Studio, which was a tip-off from Kate Conkers on Instagram. And basically, it's a template where I can cut along my waistline, put it up into this corner, and when I cut out my two halves, I will have a circle skirt that fits my waist. Once I cut out my waist in the corner, I then measured out how long I wanted my skirt. And I think it was 27 inches. So I went around the edge, made markings, and then cut it out. When I was done, I had half a circle skirt. So I used this half as a template for the second half and I magicked myself a circle skirt. I then cut out a waistband, and I think this was two and a half inches by whatever I wanted. I knew I'd trim it back. And I also ironed on some interfacing. As long as your waistband can fit around your waist plus an inch of seam allowance, you'll be fine. So to map out my skirt, I made sure it was still a flat piece of fabric because apparently that really helps and it really did. Using my water soluble marker, I sort of placed the center point of the web slightly off to the side because I really didn't want the center of the web being the center of my crotch. And I just sort of started mapping out my web. I began with a simple cross and added more lines in all the gaps. And then I started marking out where I wanted the rungs of my web to go. So to make the more circular patterned web, I guesstimated and made markings at two inches, two and a half inches, three inches, and then four onwards. And then it was time to sew my cording. I did a little practice piece and it went fine. So I thought, yep, let's go and put it onto the real thing. I sewed my first line, which was the center line. And then I accidentally pulled my elastic. And of course it bunched up. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to lay flat. So I had to stop sewing right there drive all the way to the fabric store and it wasn't even my local fabric store there's one fabric store in Perth that I know sells cording of multiple sizes and colors luckily they had what I wanted and then I drove it home yay I bought 10 meters of cording here's a tip buy 11 buy 12 buy more than you think you'll need 
But sure enough, I then used some invisible thread, a zigzag stitch and a very wide stitch at that. And very slowly, I sewed up my skirt. It wasn't until I got to the outside where I realized I was literally about 10 centimeters short on cording. But also I thought that would be a fun way to use the spider and have the spider in the process of making the web, which is how I came up with my final design. Sewing on all the cording took me about two hours, but I kind of enjoyed it because I got to watch over the garden wall as I did it and it took all the episodes and then I was finally done. It is also around this point that my camera died. So unfortunately I don't have much footage of me sewing in my zip or my waistband, but it's just the normal procedure. And of course, if you want to learn how to do that, go to Gertie's circle skirt felt skirt tutorial. That is brilliant. That's the one I use. One of the last things I did was get a little bit of water on a paintbrush and just go through and clean up any of the ink that was still hanging around. It vanished straight away and caused no problems. When I thought it was done, I had one more look at Gertie's skirt, the original vintage, and I decided to do what Gertie did and add a little bit of sparkle to her web. So I went ahead and I used my hot fix applicator to put some silver rhinestones into the middle and then some black ones in the first rung. So what does she look like? I am really happy with the skirt. I love it. It was actually super straightforward, but it was a little bit tedious and time consuming. So you can make this in a day or even an afternoon if you don't have to run to the shops and get courting. Yeah, that wasn't fun. So please go ahead and make the skirt go and check out Gertie's video as well. I will link everyone in my blog and in the description box below because those tutorials are absolutely brilliant. That is all I have time for you guys this week. I have been loving all the spooky content that I've been able to make. Next week is I think our final Halloween video. I Still 100% don't know what I'm doing or making because I keep changing my mind because I want to do so much. But until I figure it out, I will see you guys all next week with a brand new video. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe and be a part of my little YouTube family. I'm really loving watching all of us grow here and thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate it. See you guys all next week. But until then, be kind, be true, be you. Bye.